Hi guys, uh, today we're going to go over, I'm going to go and draw 50 Sonics for you. And this is going to be painful for me because it took so long, it took me eight and a half hours in the real time. But you're going to watch a pre-recorded version of it here. Uh, 50, why did I do this? Uh, I'm doing it in honor of the, new, of, it's going to be a challenge and I want you to do it as well. Uh, it's going to be, you draw 50 Sonics, the hashtag is... 50 Sonics, make sure there's an S, 50 Sonics Challenge. So if you put it on Instagram, if you put it on Facebook, if you put it wherever you put it, hashtag 50 Sonics Challenge. If you put it on YouTube as well, 50 Sonics Challenge. You don't have to show your process, just put the pictures, it's fine. Uh, if you want to see more rules and explanations on that, you can look in the description. I'm going to have the page on there, for, but there's really no rules. We're just kind of spreading the Sonic word, and I think it's hilarious. Uh, I got addicted to really terrible Sonic fan art, and I just thought it was so addicting, and it was making me laugh so hard, and I was posting it non-stop on Instagram, if you watch my Instagram account, that I was like, you know what, I'm going to draw my own Sonics. So, I'm going to draw 50. I originally went and set out to do 100, but uh, it was just too hard. I could not do it. 50 took me eight and a half hours, uh, and I sped it up for you, so I shrank it down to roughly below an hour. That's as short as I could get it, but it is entertaining, and uh, hopefully you like it. Um, about You're going to watch me go through a lot of pain here. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm not going through pain right now watching it, but um, when I was doing it, it was quite a lot of... It was pretty hard on the brain. Pretty hard on the brain. I'll tell you why through this whole thing. And uh, I'm going to go over each design and why I did them and what was influencing me. So... Give me that thumbs up if, uh, because of all the pain that I put into this. This is a more normal version of Sonic, by the way. Um, it's pretty chill. Uh, you know, I just want to start off really calm Sonic, you know, very, tech, you know, just kind of a, like my version of a very simplistic, cute Sonic. Um, but, but yeah, I never ask for thumbs up up front, ever. I never do that. I just think that's cheap, but you know what? I'm gonna ask for it because I this is hard. And if you like these kind of subject matters, just weird subject matters, uh, please let me know. I'm gonna do a lot more fun videos on this channel. I still want to stick with basic drawing, but I want I want to do stuff that entertains me more as well. And I think I found that a lot of other people are very entertained by it. So if this is your thing. Uh, click that thumbs up. Um, so yeah, let's get more into the why and the how. I'm drawing, I'm starting my second Sonic here, and uh, this one's a little bit. I was trying to think weird. Uh, like I said, when you do it, you can draw either 50 of the same Sonic, or you can draw 50 variety ones, you can draw 50, like, ugly-ish ones. I was trying to do ugly, but some of them came out kind of interesting to me, and kind of inventive, and I, I, I really liked it. So this is, uh, I was thinking of, like, just kind of warping the head, very similar to a caricature. Because I used to work as a caricature artist at a, a theme park. So... I, I'll, I'll tell you more about why I'm doing it on a computer as well. You don't have to do it on a computer. But yeah, pick 250. If you do 50 of the same thing, even though you're doing a variety of things with that same design, you will learn so much about yourself and so, uh, so much about what you can memorize and so much about, say that's number, sec that's number two, kind of pig-like in the nose, but kind of goofy. I made the, the color a little bit lighter as well. But that'd be the second one. Um, <coughs> I can't speak for the direct influence. I was just trying to caricature Sonic himself. I stuck his tongue out to be silly. Uh, when you draw 50 of anything, and let's just say you can, you don't have to draw. You can draw 50 normal Sonics. Um, you're gonna get two things are gonna happen to you. If you've never drawn that much before, you're gonna hit a new threshold. If you've never drawn that much of anything, you will hit a new threshold, and you're gonna be like shocked. Especially if you do it all at once like that. I mean, you can try to do it all at once, but you don't have to. You can do it in pieces, in chunks. Maybe you do it over a week. Because 50 is more than you think. Um, I know some people are like, oh, that's easy. But it was pretty hard. It was really, really hard for me. And I was doing it on computer. So let me go over why I'm doing this on computer. I'm using Photoshop. And the reason I'm doing it is because I can color it easier than if I was to do it in my sketchbook. All I do is click and fill. And that's going to show it and present it better on this video for you to see. So this one, the third one, I'm thinking more of like kind of Weenie the Pooh. I'm thinking more of a, I don't know, just kind of a friendlier, sweeter version of Sonic. Make sure that's on. <coughs> but I was just thinking like sweet, he's holding his hands, and yeah, I was thinking mostly Weenie the Pooh. I'm not sure why. 
I was thinking that, you know, a little more... I feel like if he was in that universe, he'd look something like this. And these do get faster and faster, by the way. I started editing them to go quicker and quicker. So, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, that's why I did it on, on the computer. I thought... I just thought it was just so much quicker. Uh, you, like I said, you can do them traditional. You can do them any which way you want. But let's spread the word. Uh, this is going to run. I'm going to run this challenge until Sonic comes out in November. And right now it is May. So we have, what, five months left? Longer? Six months? I really want to, you know, want to make this a thing for me. I think it's funny. I like to laugh. Uh, I, I want people to draw more because that's one of my biggest biggest pet peeves with students oh man this one's ugly sorry i'm looking at this i'm kind of looking at this it's weird because even though i did these i'm kind of looking at them as an observer right now and it's like jeez uh, i kind of because I, I don't know i did 15 i forgot some of them quite a lot of them so this one i remember i was thinking of gonzo from the muppets that kind of like deflated nose or alf if you guys know what alf is anybody know what alf is uh, yeah, that kind of nose thingy, that arcing down nose where it's like deflated or something. And I'm trying to keep the basic Sonic-isms, right? Like the shoes, although I do break that rule a few times in some of these. The shoes, the spikes in the back, I guess that really is what, you know, sells it. Oh, man. Jesus, that one's ugly. <coughs> Damn, that one hurts to look at. Uh... But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people draw, a, a big issue is that they just don't put enough hours into it. They just don't. It, they, they practice once every, like, three weeks. When you're a beginner, you want to practice almost every day. And so, and you want to draw a lot of something. And I thought, you know, this challenge would help you do that, even though it is Sonic. And you're thinking, like, well, it's not drawing people, blah, 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 but you're learning to use the pencil or whatever it is that you use, you're 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 training your muscles in your hand to to do that. And the more you do it, the more used to it you'll do it. The more the more you get used to pulling a curve, all of that, you're gonna get better at, at holding it. You're getting better at the dexterity. You're gonna you're just getting better all around. I mean, not all around, but your control is getting better because you're doing it so much. And you're pulling these curves. And if you know you have to do a certain amount of something, let's say you have to draw 50 of anything you're going to think a little bit less and you're going to do a little bit better and things are going to be coming to you. I, I, I guarantee you, it's going to be, it's going to change you. Like, I, if, you, if you're a beginner and you try this, you're, it's going to change you. But you have to like Sonic, right? <laughs> if you don't like Sonic, then, then I don't recommend doing it. This, this design right here, I was thinking of Muppet Babies. Uh, this kind of cutified version of, of, like, the Muppets. And I thought, well, what would a Sonic version of that look like? And I'm sure all these have been done in weird places that I'm in, but I, I was just talking about my influences for what I'm doing. So yeah, I thought I was, I was thinking more like baby blue color. It's kind of a cute version. I'm thinking about maybe taking one of these. If you guys pick your favorite one, I'll probably take uh, right in the comments, like what is your favorite one? And I'll probably try to do like a finished version of it somewhere or maybe render it out or just, just make it better. Cause I'm only doing, I'm only doing flat colors. I'm, I'm literally filling it in. Okay. Number six. I'm, I'm doing flat colors to, again, ma just make it easy to read. But I don't want to do, like, secondary shadows and stuff because it's going to be such a pain. It's going to take so long. And <laughs> I think it would just make the video longer. So that, that was kind of my idea. We'll see if I do it. It depends on the comments below. Um, but if enough people do, you know, if, if there's an overwhelming, you know, number of people that pick one, I'll, I'll probably take one and finish it. This one I'm thinking more angular. This is number six. I'm thinking much more angular about it, and what I'm doing is, I'm kind of, I'm kind of channeling like Bugs Bunny cartoons. I'm thinking of like Wily e. Coyote, that kind of look. Even though he's not a coyote, he's a hedgehog, but hedgehogs are kind of squatty. But I made him elongated. And that's another thing that this. I'll tell you how this uh, exercise affected me, by the way, because this is like not just a challenge to people. This is a challenge to myself. But, you know, you know, you know, uh, it. it it really forced me to push my brain in different directions uh, in terms of how do I mess with the exact same design. And Sonic is such an iconic, simple design. I mean, it's kind of shocking, I mean, as of this moment, 
They showed a TV trailer, a uh, TV trailer. They showed a movie trailer to Sonic, and he looks pretty horrifying, in my opinion. Because uh, <laughs> he, but it, it's kind of surprising that the different ways they can kind of uh, push him. And it's okay. So yeah, this is this version. I really like this version quite a lot, actually. This is one of my favorite versions that I drew. Um, I'll probably... Uh, I don't want to say I'll never draw Sonic again, of course. I'm going to take one of these and finish him, but... And, you know, it's a lot of... It's a lot of the same character. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm coughing. Alrighty. Let's go on number seven. This one... Okay, I remember this now. Seven, I am drawing a fat version. And... I was just thinking of, like, Cartman from South Park, but I also want to do it 2D, you know, like, I want to, with line, because South Park doesn't have any lines, right? So, I knew I'd be working with lines, so it wouldn't look exactly, but I, I was thinking, uh, I was influenced by South Park. Yeah, I'm also trying to change the design of the, uh, that kind of white part of his belly. Oh snap! Oh, that kind of white part of his belly. Uh, I'm really trying to change that. You know, and I'm thinking like, should I make it square this time? And so, like, you, you, it does force me to be more creative. As uh, you know, that's that's like the whole part of it. Continuing on and. Uh, What is this? Is it stuck? Is this stuck? No. Okay, anyways. But uh, it does force me to be more creative. And... Yeah, I thought, I thought the computer got stuck there. I think my computer got stuck there. Hopefully this aligns up real quick. So... What, um... I mean, hopefully Sonic fans are watching this. And, uh, I mean, I love Sonic. I, I'll tell you my history of me and that character as well. So, I freaking, like, the first time I ever saw Sonic was I played Sonic on the Genesis. I think it came with the system when uh, I bought it. And it was pretty awesome. I really loved the, <coughs> the game itself, the original, first and second. I don't think I played Sonic and Knuckles, because that came out. And I did not play that. Uh, I wanted to, but I don't think I ever got. My parents never bought it for me. Um, I should probably play it now. I could probably draw. Every, I could probably play everything now. Buy everything now. It'd be cool. Um, but and then I was watching the. Uh, I think the Saturday morning cartoon of Sonic in the '90s, and it was pretty serious. And I really enjoyed it. I saw it lately, and I thought it was boring. But I still overall enjoyed it because of the nostalgia. I just thought the pacing was kind of slow. But it is a good show. You know, I just. It's kind of hard to watch all at once, but I think watching it in pieces is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm drawing this version of Sonic, it's number 8. And I was kind of like, wow, this is... Um... He's got like an oven mitt on. I, I think I was like, this is turning out too ordinary. So I was like, I gotta draw something different on him. And I was like, eh, I'll just draw an oven mitt on him. I don't know why I did that. That is... Yeah, that's really weird that I did that. I apologize, but yeah. You know that I'll admit? Oh, well. Um, so after that, I think what blew my mind was I got the Dreamcast, and I believe a Sonic game with, came with that as well. I think it was Sonic Adventure. And that just blew my freaking mind. I was like, wow, they took this character that was 2D, and I know they had a 3D version of it before that. I can't remember what it was. Like, Sonic... I think it was on the Sega CD, which I never had. It looked kind of chunky and not so great. But this version, I was like, I thought it moved... Okay, I'll tell you this. The Dreamcast version of Sonic was really glitchy. I do remember that. But overall, I thought they really nailed it. You know, like they had this 3D version of this character, and I thought they just nailed it so amazingly. I know since then, though... Man, and I played that second one, I thought that Sonic Adventure 2 was really good with Shadow. And after that, I, I did got that... I got that weird Shadow game, I think, on the GameCube. Or... Uh, I can't remember which one. It was it was like Shadow, but Shadow had like a gun. I was like, what are they thinking? Sonic Sliders. I, I played a bunch of Sonic games. Um, and I still love that character, but I know that franchise is a little kind of weird now. Uh, unfortunately. But I'm still playing those games, and I still like it. I, I, know, I know Sonic has like a lot of like... 
you know, haters and detractors lately, because the games kind of keep going, and they're not, you know, they kind of like the same thing over and over, I suppose, but I like it. I'm still a fan, that's ultimately why I'm doing this. Uh, okay, I'm drawing this version, this is version 9 of Sonic, uh, and this one's probably one of the weirder ones. Uh, this one... This one's weird because it, it I was thinking of... What's that handsome version of Squidward from Spongebob? Squarepants. There's like a handsome version of Squidward, and I was thinking of that. And I was like, man, I gotta do a version of that Sonic. So I pretty much made him look like the tick. And then as I was drawing his head, I'm like, his head. Huh, excuse me, sorry. I'm doing this like late at night. People must think I'm insane. Oh, anyways, so his head looked like a shooting star, so that's why I made it look like. I didn't put a body on this one. God, that so creepy. Um, but yeah, anywho, I'm doing this late at night, so people probably think I'm crazy. My, you know, someone's in the next room, and they're gonna be like, what? Why is he doing this? Yeah, I'm up late at night. I, I mean, just kind of like looking at my life. This makes me wonder my what my life is like right now. I'm up late at night recording audio for drawing 50 Sonics, and that's my life for YouTube. Okay, uh, I stand corrected. This is one of the weirder Sonics. Uh, this Sonic was eviler, eviler looking. I was thinking of Wario, and I was gonna say, "Wow, what if Sonic had a Wario, you know, type character version of himself, the way Mario does?" And I was thinking, and maybe it'll look like this. And I was thinking he might have sharp teeth, and uh, he's kind of angular, but not. See, see, the thing is, Wario, he's angular like in his mustache and stuff like that but he's also round he's got like a big round nose and, and a lot of his sh he's fat right he's got like round shapes but they're still evil there's still little things about him they're angular mostly his mustache his creepy mustache and stuff so this is similar is more or less a round character with like it gets angular teeth uh i don't know what i would call this character like uh so mario wario so sonic uh zonic maybe Right? Like the M to the W is upside down. So S to the Z. I mean, that's Zonic. I like Zonic. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. I like it. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that is. That is ugly. It looks like a shark. Ugh. God. Ugh, this is taking too long, man. Like, ugh. Sorry. Anyways, um... Uh, you know, I'm gonna ask a series of questions, but hey, here's another question, if you're following this far. Uh, what is your favorite, uh, Sonic thing? Like, anything, like TV show, uh, specific game? What is your favorite game? You know, but what is anything? What is, like, because for me, I love, I would say my favorite favorite would be Sonic Adventure. That's what really got me into Sonic again, like, hardcore, in a different way. So, uh, for me, it's Sonic Adventure, and, uh, oh, yeah, they had a cartoon called Sonic X, right? Yeah, they had a bunch of different cartoons. I never liked any more, the other cartoon, as much as I liked the... Sonic from uh, like that Saturday morning cartoon in terms of like uh, the story. It's so serious, you know. I really love that story. Okay, this version of Sonic, it's uh, version 11, and like I said, don't worry, they're gonna go faster and faster. They're gonna edit really like lightning fast this next half. Um, so I was thinking of uh, also kind of a coyote shape here as well, but. I guess Sonic, since he's a rodent, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, room to push him into like a wolf shape or something like that. He... <coughs> you know, essentially you're like elongating stuff, like his nose, and uh, when you do that, you could, you know, kind of morph him into like any type of other animal, and that's what's kind of cool about him. So I was giving him like the, the high ankle there, the high, you know, the heel, you know, like an animal heel which sticks way up. Um... Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about how to put a shoe on. So his shoe has to kind of fit over just like the toes, right? So it's kind of like this toe shoe. I actually really like this version. It's not it's not one of my favorites that I did, but I actually really like it. It's kind of 
different. It's kind of interesting. Uh, one of the things that you, and by the way, if you want another video on how to use Photoshop, I will totally do that. I just, I did that in the past, but I had different recording software, but now I have really good recording software and I'm very confident with it, but this is not a video on that. So don't worry about how I'm doing it. Just kind of, oh, okay. I will say this. The, let me talk about the process of how I'm doing all of these. So the process is, for example, and I do this on paper as well. I will doodle something. Oh my God, this is the stupidest version. Sorry, I'm sorry, this is version 12. This is the stupidest, stupidest version I drew, in my opinion. This is if I made Sonic out of, uh, okay, so out of like sticks and styrofoam, like stuff I bought at like Michael's. This is like that version of Sonic. And the reason I came up with this is because at Comic-Con, I go to San Diego Comic-Con every year, this guy gives out these really terrible stick figures, and I mean sh garbage, stick figures um, with like a styrofoam ball at the top, and he calls it Stick Man action figures, and he hands this out every year, and I get it, and it's like in my bag, like my swag bag, and I'm like, wow, this is garbage, and I, <laughs> you know, I was like, what would it be like if you made a Sonic version of this? So that's what this is. And I even copied over that hand over there. I didn't want to draw that other hand. I'm like, I'll just copy and paste his hand and reverse it. Um, God, this is so dumb. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is so stupid. <laughs> okay, so anyways, back to my um, okay, process. So the process in terms of like... Uh, the process in terms of like... Uh, the actual of how how I draw everything, and I have made a video on how I draw everything. But here's another how to draw everything tip. Uh, I always doodle something. Like I mean, scribble. Like my like the initial idea will look like chicken scratch. It'll look like garbage, right? But it's just to get the general proportions. And after I do that, I will effectively. Um, after I get those proportions, I will um, put another paper over it and I will draw because you're dividing up your thought process. It's really hard to think about proportion, anatomy. I guess you're not thinking about anatomy as much here, but I mean general like, you know, like the arm goes here, stuff like that. And then you're thinking about proportion and like where things go and then the design of it as well all at once like like and there's more usually like like just it's too much to think about at once for one person and you could do it i mean you could look at guys like kim jung gi i think i think he's an artist that that does all that stuff at once in his head somehow which is insane but that's not the norm the norm would be to break that up into steps professionals in general will break that up into small stuff okay this is a weird version of sonic right here this is sonic 13 let me say this real quick so I watched a series on Netflix called uh, Love, Death, and Robots, I think. And they had this uh, thing about, I forget what it's called, Big Blue. And it was this guy that was on another planet. But it looks so angular and, and very abstract arty. And that's what that version was based on. You know? So I was thinking of a Sonic version of that. Okay, I, I correct it. Th this is the weirdest one right here. This is like Dali. I'm drawing an abstracty. If you know who Dali is, Dali is an artist who did the uh, melting, melting clocks. They really parried that. They put that in cartoons a bunch. It's like melt. You ever see like a tree with a melting clock on it? That's like a painting. And Dolly did that. He does a lot of oozy. Everything looks all oozy and drippy. But <coughs> that is what this version is. I'm drawing this like weird, bizarre version, contemporary version of uh, Sonic. He doesn't even have hands or feet. He has these nubs, but you're gonna tell through the color, right? And I'm gonna draw his spike strip, whatever the heck that is, in the back, and it's like flying off. Yeah. Oh, anywho, what was I saying? Uh, okay, so you break up the thought process of drawing into three step into steps, and you manage it for yourself. And it's not cheating because it's coming out of you. It's all coming out of you. So doing that lets you 
just do it easier. Why would you not make it easier on yourself? Just make it, it makes it so much easier for you to do that. Okay, these are already starting to go quicker, I can tell. I'm starting to edit them faster. Um, this is, wow. Okay, I was thinking of like, oh man, this is stupid. Uh, I was thinking of like, like Adult Swim cartoon kind of thing. This one was so fast. I think this is around where my brain was starting to give a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, this is ugly. Damn. Sorry, I'm saying bad words here. But damn, that is ugly. Am I taking a break here? So some, of this, some of these things I'm like, eh, why are they staying still? I think it's usually because I got up to go to the bathroom and like I left it there. Eight hours and a half, guys. Eight and a half hours, guys. Hopefully it takes you less. <laughs> Hopefully it takes you less than it took me. It took a long time. Um, that was like a computer. So a computer is much more forgiving. So that process that I do with paper is something I do with the computer all the time. I just scribble something, throw a layer over it. I, I like dim it, throw a layer over it. Um, and I, I always do everything in steps and almost every professional I know does it in steps as well. And I recommend you do that because you will draw things. If you didn't know how to do that and you're learning, you're hearing this for the very first time, you're gonna have, you're gonna probably, your drawing ability will get better pretty much right off the bat because the process is also part of drawing. Okay, I love this Sonic. This is actually one of my favorite Sonics here. It just looks like this drunken, like angry, Simpson-y version. I think this is like what I was thinking of. Like a drum drunken Simpsons version of Sonic. <laughs> I freaking love this version of Sonic so much. I wanna print this out for myself and make like a sticker of it. I love it. Um, I'm also drinking kombucha while I'm doing this. Uh, so yeah, God, I love this version so much. God. Hold on, let me let me take a sip of kombucha. So yeah, like I said, if you never knew, you never knew how to do your drawings and steps, you will, you will be amazed. You will be so amazed by it. Uh, I recommend you do that right off the bat and it and, the, and it will like I said it will give you I don't know it's like steroids for art or something like that you don't have to draw something like one shot you get several chances of stuff okay this is a really weird I was thinking of like a tadpole version of Sonic you know so I was like ah, maybe he's swimming like a tadpole like his eyes are the same shape as his nose I was thinking of like a spaceship made from Star Trek Or maybe it looks kind of like a doll that you put in like the car window or something in the back seat of your, your vehicle. Like, let me have suction cups on his hands, which I didn't do a version like that. I should. You know, like that Garfield version. <laughs> I don't know if anyone likes Garfield. If you guys like this challenge, let me know. Like I said, if this gets enough views, I will do maybe another challenge of like a different character, maybe. Maybe like a 50 Garfields or 50 Marios or 50, just anything. Because even though this was painful, uh, it was painful, but it was still pretty pretty fun I was actually having a really really good time and that's why I, I want to see other people's stuff you know I'm really really curious what other people can come up with um, or like I said I'm really curious to see other people improve I'm very very like after this improvement thing and I feel like so many people don't improve for the reason of they just don't draw enough so hopefully ch this challenge like challenges that are fun like this will make you um, improve your dexterity this is a weird one. I don't remember what I was thinking for this one. It looks kind of like a old cartoon from the 80s or something. I don't know how to explain that one. He's kind of like a cool Sonic. He's older. I don't know why he has sharp teeth. Yeah, that was weird. <coughs> oh, I love this version as well. I know people, for some reason when I showed people this, like I showed friends of mine a lot of these before I uh, put them out. I don't know, people didn't, give a, didn't really care about this one. They didn't give a crap about this one. But uh, I thought this was, like, one of my favorites. I was thinking of the game... Um, what's that game with the old school... Uh, cup. Not Tin Cup. Cuphead. I was thinking of Cuphead and the old school, like, 1930s cartoon style, you know? And I was thinking of that when I was drawing it. And maybe I didn't achieve it because I swear, like, a lot of people didn't care about this version. But I really like it. I think it's happy and wholesome. 
And this is my one of my personal favorites, but I just know that, you know, people didn't care that much. But yeah, I think this looks cute. I like it. I like this one a whole lot. Right now I'm sitting on um, I'm sitting on my computer chair, just leaning back, chilling out with a pillow. <laughs> okay, this one. <laughs> okay, I made this version, and I was just thinking of like a hammerhead shark, uh, and I was like, "What? What is going on?" Um, and I showed it to my friend, and she thought it looked like Hey Arnold. Have you ever seen that TV show, Hey Arnold? Uh, cartoon. I love that. I used to love that cartoon. And on some of these versions, I incorporated the rings. I didn't put... I'll tell you this. I didn't put any Sonics running because I just thought the pose was... I don't know. I think this is more about design, so I wanted to have him just kind of standing there to look at the character as opposed to watching him do too much action other than that oven mint one. But I put the rings in this just because I thought they were so, it was weird. Yeah, that was a. this is a weird version. I was also thinking of uh, Funko Pop figures. They have like big messed up heads like this. <laughs> okay, I can tell right. Let's see, some of these I don't remember quite exactly when I did, like like what I was thinking exactly, but, and it comes back to me slowly. Uh, I was thinking again of like, what's a different version of Sonic? And I extended this guy's, this one's nose like a rat. And I gave him these big, disgusting buck teeth and it's kind of, I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's not good. Oh, okay, the video died on that one, so you have to look at that. I don't know why I gave him pink gloves, though. Yeah, the video on that one died. Like, I think I didn't capture the whole thing on accident. I lost the video feed. Okay, this is, uh, I was thinking of like an inanimate toy, for example, of Sonic. And I was like, okay, let's just think of an upside down top. You know, like a top that you spin, but let me, let's say it's upside down. And I'm like, how would you cram his character features into a triangle, essentially? And this is kind of what I came up with. He is... Yeah. Yeah, like, um, that's very... It's uh, it's almost like a, t a toy from a third world country, you know, where they paint it. I was just thinking of something like that. Like, maybe like a bootleg toy. Like, here you go, it's Sonic. As a triangle, guys. Yeah, that's not one of my... That's actually one of my least favorite ones, um, to be honest. That's 22. <laughs> All right, 23. Um, this one does have a funky pose, I remember, and it's almost like he's sneaking. And he, Jesus. Damn. Yeah, I, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It doesn't look like Sonic, it just looks like I don't know what this looks like. This just looks like an old... God, he's not old. I don't know what this looks like. It's just not Sonic, and it doesn't look quite... It doesn't look like Sonic. It just looks like some dog who's, like, trying to sneak into the kitchen to, I don't know, like, steal stuff from the fridge. But I did want to vary up the pose at this point because I was already starting to snap a little bit mentally. I'm like, I need to change this up. You know, remarkably, these were not that hard to do. It was it was hard to keep up with them and like, but it wasn't too hard to change up the design. And I, oh, and I gave him yellow gloves because I'm like, eh, I'll make something different. I'm gonna like these like these washing dishes gloves. Twenty four. All right. Oh yeah, this is a little more like simplistic. I was trying to do this one in one layer. I don't think I did, did I? I think I might have done this one in one layer. Where I, I didn't do the under layer, I just kind of did one. I think for this one I was trying to see how fast I could do a design. Because uh, I was kind of starting to lose my mind in terms of like... I was timing it out and some of these were taking me like 15 minutes. And I'm like, whoa, it's, if it's 15 minutes and I do 50 of these, this is gonna take me forever. And I just took a tooth out because I thought it was funny. I'm like, yeah, that one's, that one's a very simple design. I can't, I don't even know what the influence is there, to be honest. 25. Um, 
I was thinking of kind of like a, an owl for some reason on this one, like a goofy owl, or also the way my dog used to stand. My dog um, would stand in a way that it would look very fluffy on one side of it. I don't know how to say it, but it would look fluffy in the back. So I was kind of thinking of my dog, the way my dog would stand all proud. Or maybe like a toy, but I, I knew for design wise, I wanted it more or less flat on one side and then extended on the other, very similar to like a bird wing, you know. His spikes are such a cool visual, I understand why the character is so popular, because the spikes are so amazing, that they they lend to such a cool visual element to, to a character, and that, that's a really strong character when you can tell who the character is in a silhouette. I know if you heard that before. When you're designing any character, like for a cartoon, especially a more animated cartoon, <laughs> a great exercise is to be able to uh, identify them through only their silhouette so paint them in black and if you can identify them as a silhouette they have a strong silhouette like think about the the silhouette of all silhouettes of any cartoon right what is that what's the most famous silhouette of any cartoon in history it's mickey mouse it's those ears right those disney ears that is such an iconic silhouette you know, another one would be like Bart Simpson. You know, when you look at the Simpsons, you can see all the characters. Oh my God, what a horrifying version of Sonic. This is 26, he has one eye. Why did I do that? Yuck. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, but think, think of like Sonic. Oh, this is like a creepy version. This is 27. And I was thinking of like maybe Gollum. I mean, obviously he's not looking like Gollum because he doesn't look like Gollum, but um, I was thinking of like the precious ring that he finally got. And he looks all creepy and weird right now. And it's kind of freaking me out. God, that's creepy. He's kind of holding it. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking mildly Adventure Time, maybe. Or something well, something like that. Or uh, what's that cartoon with gas-powered stick? Like Catbug? Something of that sort of animation. And I was just putting a little bit of heavy line over here, and I somehow went to another page, <laughs> randomly. <laughs> okay. I randomly checked another website in the middle of that. That's hilarious. I, I kind of like that one. I wasn't too bad about it. It was weird. Okay, this is the this is the junkiest, trashiest one of all of them. I am telling you that now. I remember there was this cartoon on Adult Swim called Home Movies. And it was drawn, like, stupidly bad on purpose, and I was thinking of that. I was like, what are these stupidly, the worst quality? Not just creepy, what is the worst quality I could draw? That was it, that was fast. That was the quickest one, I think. That one took, like, like a minute or a half or something. I don't remember. Here's another version. I was thinking, of actually, of a video game called Sliders, and Sliders was these kind of bizarre, short-legged uh, things that ate... I think, I think Slider ate stuff. Was, they were just sliding around the floor, and it was a very weird design to it, and I, for whatever reason, it must have traumatized me as a kid, because I remember that into adulthood now. <coughs> and he has... And this is, yeah, that is weird. It's This one, I want to say it's the shoddiest drawing uh, quality, I think, for me. I just don't like... I made the, the, the color darker, just to change it up, too. And I may give him a skirt or whatever, not a skirt, but like the ring is around there. Yeah, that's like the worst drawn one, I think, for me. Should have drawn that better. But I think at this point, like I said, it was snapping. Here's another one. I was thinking of like a jet and like a plane shape. And the body is basically just this tiny little utterly creepy body. Yeah, he's, uh, he's funny. <coughs> um... Yeah, that, I, 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 okay, I, I hate this one. Why even lie? I hate this one. I don't like it. <laughs> but I was like, eh, I don't know. I, you know what? That's number 30. I hate that one so much. Uh, 31. Okay, this one, he's got like the mumps or something. He's got like some sort of tumors on his face. I think right there I was thinking of all the other things that have big brows. Elephant Man, stuff like that, just kind of things with uh, things or people with deformities. And I was thinking, what if he was entirely bitten by bees and he was swollen, so he, even his spikes are all swollen? <laughs> kind of looks like a panda there with a, if it was a white. But that was a quick one as well. I thought that he kept that at one layer. 
I believe it was one layer. <coughs> See, these are starting to roll faster now. I'm starting to edit them much quicker. 32. This Sonic was a little ordinary looking, and I feel a little bit disappointed it was so ordinary looking, but... Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, one minute. I don't know why that went through so quick. That was strange. Uh, one moment. So, I just thought this version of Sonic was a little bit more generic than I would have liked, but it's, it's okay. Uh, I think it's decent. Um, I think I was just trying to, I'm coming full circle, because I was doing all these crazy, crazy versions of Sonic, and uh, there was a point, like I said a few times, that my brain uh, kind of snapped, and I was like, whoa, this is ridiculous. But, it's fun to do, and uh, hopefully all you guys love uh, watching this, uh, whoever's still around. <laughs> Who's gonna sit around for 50 of these? If you are around, wow, I am so impressed by you, and I wanna hug you. Oh, next version. Uh, I was thinking like a cool cat version, maybe Hanna-Barbera. That's literally went through my head, and it's like, what's a cool cat version? Yeah, like in the zoot suit, that kind of stuff. Um, that was, again, what went through my mind while I was doing this. I even put his hand in his pocket, although Sonic doesn't have pockets. So he's just putting it into his side, like maybe his fur has pockets. But uh, I like the shape as well. I'm thinking of, like again, the silhouette when I'm doing this. His nose looks like a banana or something. That was quick. I zoomed that one up very much, so. Like I said, these are going quicker and quicker. Okay, this one's pretty weird, too. This is the, uh... I was kind of losing my mind again. I was like, what? No legs, just tentacle arms, and he is going to be an octopus. Or, uh, I was like, all right, let's just let's do this. Now, what would Octopus Sonic look like if he was an octopus? Um... Uh, he would look pretty awesome, I think, and I really love how this one came out. I like it. It's weird. It's kind of uh, insane, more like a creepy dream or something, but that's what this was. And uh, there you go. I made him more pink. And that, that was pretty, again, I zoomed that one very quick too. That one I love. I really love this one. It's not my favorite. I'll tell you which one my favorite is personally, uh, but when it comes up. This is another version. I was also thinking of the Gonzo nose a little bit because I guess I'm very influenced by the Muppets. I don't know why. But, oh, and he's, I was had him like, I was like, well, let's just do a different pose right now. So I kind of had him free falling. Like, let's just say he's skydiving. And I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, what would a like a triceratops? I was thinking, I was thinking of a triceratops in terms of the shape of his head. And but yeah, maybe he's like wearing socks. That also occurred to me, like, ah, he's like a sock version. And so that was really coming out at me. I was like, okay, I gotta do that. And yeah, that one's really simplistic. He's just like free fall diving with socks on. I thought that was kind of weird. Wasn't one of my favorites. Wasn't one of my hate. I didn't hate it the most, but okay, this is okay. All right, I remember this now. This is probably the worst drawn. The worst drawn. I know I said the other one was the worst drawn. This is the worst drawn. I was uh, I don't know what was going through my head. I was just like, okay, I need to do this muscle version of Sonic. And I'm gonna make it look awful. Like, Meet the Feebles, if you ever saw that movie, it's like full of Muppets. These really disturbing Muppets. Um, I think it's a Peter Jackson movie, right? Short legs. And uh, I was just like, this one I think my brain was totally. This I know I said my brain snapped. This is one of those. I'm like, oh my god. So terrible. And I just gave him little like, wrinkles on his neck. And I'm gonna color him horrendously. Terrible color. Just terrible color. Wow. So bad. That one's so, that's actually one of my least favorite, I gotta say. <laughs> I was fooling around with shapes here, and I was like, what am I gonna do? This is another weird abstractish at uh, 37. This is another abstracty one. 
and it, it I, I felt like again at least things don't make sense so I'm just like putting pen, uh, like I would be putting pen to paper but I was putting like digital stuff up and I'm like okay I'm just gonna go nuts and uh, do some random stuff here and this is what I decided to do Yeah, this is weird. Uh, he's uh, amputated leg, and he is barely even noticeable. I, I guess the color really makes you know that it's Sonic. Uh, looks like he's being shocked, but that's just the spike on the back. Wow. Yeah, that is weird. This is some weird stuff. I'm like as shocked as you are. I am. Wow. What a ugh. Ugh. That looks really weird. Okay, this is a cuter version. I was also thinking of the live-action versions of hedgehogs. Um, hedgehogs are really cute. So I was essentially kind of thinking of a... I was thinking of like a realistic version of one, and I was trying to draw it more like that. You know, like, oh, a cute, realistic ball of a hedgehog. Because I wanted to kind of think of that silhouette as well, just like a ball. And yeah, I thought this one was cute. I like this one quite a bit. And yeah, it's adorable. To me, anyway. We're almost uh, 10 more, 11 more. Okay, this is another badly drawn one. Again, because, again, my mind was going. Uh, I was thinking of, like, a cobra. What if Sonic was a cobra? All right, and the more you hear this talk, it just sounds like, wow, I'm saying that sentence out loud. It's like, wow. What if Sonic was a cobra? That is such a stupid, stupid idea. But you know what? It's entertaining, it's amusing, and you gotta think outside the box. That's what I was trying to do. What if Sonic was a cobra? And he'd only have one shoe on, right? Because he only has one foot. It's so dumb. This is so, so dumb. Uh, coloring him, and that... Is that the end of that one? Yeah, wow. That was, that's actually one of my least favorite ones. I, I don't like that. That's creepy. Number 40. Okay, this is straight up Adventure Time. I was thinking, what would Sonic look like if he was in Adventure Time? Or a regular show? I would say more regular show, actually. It looks more like regular show. And that's kind of why I incorporated him there. I was giving him... Uh, it's cool, too, because I wasn't... I was making sure the mic was on. Uh, I wasn't looking at any reference of any kind, but I actually really like the way this one came out. I think it's clean, and I really think it looks like he was on that show. I really think it looks like it's a regular show version. Uh, I'm shocked, too, because I haven't seen a regular show in a long time. But, <coughs> yeah, I really enjoy this version, and I think it's probably one of my more satisfying designing ones. Um, yeah, I like it. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I dig this one. Number 40 is cool. Hopefully stick around to the end, because I want to hear what your favorite one is, or you can skim around the video. Just see what which one your favorite, uh, if you have a favorite or not, or which ones are horrifying, or just let me know your thoughts, because the biggest part, the biggest funnest part of this whole thing is hearing you guys. You guys are really the reason I do this stuff. Uh, anybody who's helped me out. Okay, this one's do dumb and goofy. This reminds me of something I've done in the caricature days, where I draw a dumb character in the back with the wiggly arms. The wiggly arms is something I see in SpongeBob. I see in all kinds of animation, because it looks funny, the wiggly arm thing. It just looks goofy and ridiculous. So... I was kind of doing this, and I was very entertained by it. Yeah, this is just dumb. This makes me laugh. This is probably one of the ones that makes me laugh the most on my own. I don't know, I just like, giggle. How dumb this one looks. I don't know what TV show it would come from. Maybe it would come from Spongebob? Maybe not. But no, Spongebob's a little cleaner and less dumb looking. But yeah, that was so dumb. But I like it. I like that one. Oh, okay. This is actually one of my least favorite. I just kind of like spit this one out. And like I said, I was tired and weird. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I can't believe I'm doing this on YouTube. Like, what the heck? <coughs> like, why? Like, why is this a thing? <coughs> oh, God. Yeah, this one I just don't like at all. I'm looking at it right now, I'm like, man, this is so bad. I'm blocking out the nose there. I guess I was thinking of, like, old Disney cartoons. Like, I'm talking about, like, Goofy and stuff when he was, like, injured. Yeah, it looks like he was... Ugh. 
God. Ugh. Can't. Um, that's actually one of my least favorite ones. Oh, this one's cute. I remember this one. I was thinking of like a monkey doll that I saw in the store. I don't know what franchise it's from, but it was like a monkey. So I was thinking of like Sonic as this monkey. Like monkey stuffed animal. Not just a regular monkey, but like a monkey stuffed animal. And uh, I just remember that so well. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make him do this. This one's kind of like cute and enchanting. I'm saying words in a cute like enchanting because... I don't know. I just remember my mindset was so freaking off at this point. I was like losing my mind so much. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. It was really cool. Yeah, I, I really think this was really neat actually. Yeah, I don't want to give him red eyes. I thought it looked, it looked too demonic. I thought yellow, although yellow looks kind of creepy as well now that I'm looking at it. He's like rapping. Or, like, doing some cool stance, dance, you know? Okay, this one I was thinking of uh, Huckleberry Hound and some older uh, Hanna-Barbera stuff as well. Um, I don't know why Huckleberry Hound came out, but I was thinking of something like that. And, uh, so what would it look like if he was in that universe? Sometimes I get fragments, by the way, when I zoom in. I get fragments of, like, older layers. Like, the layers will show for, like, a second. So I apologize for that, guys. <laughs> And, yeah, I really like this one quite a bit. 44, pretty good. Pretty good. I think it's very simple. It's a very effective design, and I, I like it a lot. It kind of looks like a dog there, but... I guess that's what I was saying. He looks like a Huckleberry Hound, and not a Huckleberry Hedgehog. Um, 45. This is where I'm, like, really struggling for brain oxygen kind of thing. I actually, uh, by the way, I ended up doing 52. So it's a little bit, a little bonus there. Not quite 50, 52. Okay, is this one? Okay, this is the start of my favorite design. For me, personally, this is my favorite. I just liked the the, the, dis, the disgruntled version uh, of characters, you know, when you see... It started, like, when I started watching The Simpsons. Yeah, and you see these, like, these funny like versions of characters and by the way it already went by because I, I the the video gave out but you saw that version that was my favorite version over there i apologize it went so quick but i lost the video i apologize so bad that i lost the video there uh, but that cigarette version was so good i love like messed up versions of characters sorry sorry that one went so bad if you want to go back and pause it and look at it like you can um we're gonna recap all these at the very end Yeah, that one's real simple, cute. I was just thinking, yeah, simple, cute, different. Bulging eyes. Uh, this one I was thinking of Pan's Labyrinth. I was thinking like, what, what, what would he look like if he was in the Guillermo del Toro movie? And I thought he's gonna have skinny, creepy arms, and he is gonna be controlling the orb of some kind. And that is what I have him doing there. He is controlling that orb so well. Alrighty. And I thought the color really added to it too. I, I like that color that I put there. Yeah, I really like that version. This is also one of my favorite versions of them. It's real simple too, really fast. 48, oh, we're almost at the end. Oh, this one's having a messed up hard time. So I was trying to do like a bitmap version of him, like a 8-bit. And I was trying to use the line, but it kept doing some weird thing on my keyboard. So it kept saying like, blah, 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 do this command on your keyboard. So that, that kept popping up. So you'll see that bizarre key command thing come up just because I was pressing shift. Because I was trying to make those straight lines. And this is going pretty well. I kind of like it. I had to just X out that extra arm because I just didn't see how that would fit in. And I was like, eh, I'm just going to get rid of that arm. So yeah, that version's pretty, I like that version a lot. Uh, this one I'm iffy on, I do remember this now. I just made it with a big nose and he kind of reminded me of a toucan bird, but he's a hedgehog. That was kind of what I was thinking, like, oh, okay.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have much to say. I'll, he's really hairy. He looks like the abominable snowman. I took his hands off. Or I just put him under the fur, for the most part. That's kind of what my thinking was. Now that I look at it, I should have put hands on him and feet. It's kind of creepy without it. Uh, I don't remember what I was thinking of this one. Uh, I was thinking of like some cartoon I saw somewhere. You know, I was also thinking of like this boneless, creepy thing. And uh, I was just thinking creepy on this one. So I was thinking of like, well, he's going to have like a bit of a cartoony look. His eyes are going to come out the top of his head. And yeah. God, this is really strange. One of the reasons that it's hard to do this with a computer sometimes is it's very similar to filling a cup with water, where if any bit of the line is not solid enough, it's gonna it's gonna like spill out when you color it. It's gonna spill out to the outside border. Okay, I can see it. Uh, this is another one. I just put him running on this one, like he's running fast. This is 51. This is one before the end, guys. So I will talk about this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show the versions at the very end of this. I'm going to put five per sheet, and I think the last two are going to have like four and four. You can check it out. If you stuck around this long, oh my god, you are amazing. Uh, I think you're an amazing person. Um, let's hang out. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, you know, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what your favorite one is, and I want to see your challenge. I really want to see your versions of these characters, guys. I really hope that, you know, everything goes well and I want to see your guys versions of all these uh, but also like I said put your favorite of mine here like which one like right down below which one you like oh this is Sonic as a goldfish I was like I put Sonic as a fish this is gonna be awesome <laughs> oh my god this one makes me laugh oh my god so when you do ver your versions of the 50 Sonics with an S challenge Hashtag 50 Sonics Challenge. When you do your version of 50 Sonics Challenge, I uh, also credit kind of where it was created. It was cre you can either credit this YouTube channel or you can credit um, the link below. I'm gonna put the website, or, you know, easythingstodraw.net. But that's pretty much just to show that hey, this is where it originated, like this challenge. And I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. If you made it this far, you truly are a Sonic fan, or at least like a moderate fan of mine, so thank you guys. Uh, I'm going to post a bunch more if, um, you know, this does well with likes and stuff like that, so thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, let's talk about this, guys. I want to see your, I want to see your videos, or videos, I want to see your pictures, just post them, Instagram, drawings, later, Sonic. <laughs>